Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the PWM sweep from 0 to 100% duty cycle in LP spice. That means how you are going to generate the variable duty cycle where you can change your duty from 0 to 100%. If you see here in the waveform, you can see here initially we have the duty cycle very less you can see here that means on time is very less and off time is more and as in if you move ahead with time you can see here more or less you have the 50 percent duty cycle and later in the simulation i'll show you how you can generate the 100 percent duty cycle. friends if you're new to this channel and you want to learn more about altis python hardware design you can join the channel mentorship program wherein you will get opportunity to learn directly from me so you can see here this is an comparator lt1017 okay and if you see here at the input side of comparator okay i have used two signal okay and this the vcc of this comparator is connected to 12 volt and this is the ground of the comparator and you can see this <coughs> let me change not 12 let me change 12 volt earlier it was 18 volt okay so it is now 12 volt your vcc is connected to 12 volt and you have given the pull up at the output of this comparator and you can see i have also used pull down maybe we can remove this pull down right it's not needed for now since you have given the pull up right so so this is the pull up why i have used pull up here so the reason because because this this op amp is an open collector op amp if you don't use pull up at the output this op amp is not going to work now let us understand how how will you generate the pwm signal right so you can see here what i am doing by using this operational amplifier is i i am using one one carrier signal okay which named as v try and i am using one reference signal which named as v mod what i do here is i compare the carrier signal to the reference signal and based on that this comparator takes actions and accordingly we get the output i'll show you later okay now let us understand how will you generate the carrier signal and how will you generate the reference signal right so this v2 is my carrier signal and you can see i use the pulse source where initially it was 0 v on is 5 volt then t rise is 0 0.5 millisecond t fall is 0 0.5 millisecond then click on ok this is my this is my carrier signal and this is my reference signal and if you right click on this reference signal you see this is a pwl signal wherein your time equals to t equals to 0 your value of voltage would be 0 and after 100 millisecond you see your value would be 4.9 volt okay so now let me directly run the simulation and let me show you the waveform how you will generate the pwm variable pwm signal by using lt spice okay so go at simulate button edit simulation command and you see transient analysis and stop time is 1000 millisecond click on ok now what you do is go at run button click on here and you can see your simulation is working so let me show you for one by one right let me show you one by one so what i'm gonna show you let me show you the first the triangular wave here okay this is your triangular wave and let me show you this is your triangular wave guys right let me show you okay okay you can see this is your carrier signal and this is your reference signal how you can see your reference signal is rising if i right click on here and if i want to show you the reference signal how it is going from 0 to 4.9 volt and then it got stable state and during this period during this period you will see your variable duty right so this is another point let me add one plot pane and let me show you the output right now what you can see here this is your 
reference signal in blue your carrier signal in in green and this red is your wiring filter blur so let me do it here you what you can see here is guys okay what you can see your initially your duty cycle is very low you can see and and as as the time rises you can see time increases you can see from 0 to let's say 24 millisecond you can see your duty cycle is keep on increasing okay what you can see here is your duty cycle is keep on increasing what does that mean is you have the carrier signal you have the triangular wave here and you have the reference signal which is which is gradually increasing with respect to time okay you can see your reference signal in blue is gradually increasing in reference to the time this comparator compares the both the signals and you see it it gives the output okay so if i run it again you can see here you have let me show you in between mid okay so you can see the 50 percent duty cycle right let me show you here somewhere okay guys so so you can see in this graph you have more or less 50 percent duty cycle somewhere at the end okay let me show you end of this simulation where you can see here yeah, you you have at least 90 percent duty cycle and one percent is on time and in order to get the 100 percent duty cycle what you need to change here is in spite of using 4.99 volt you can use 5 volt so let me use 5 volt and let me run the simulation again and let me show you so what you see here is after some period of time you got your 100 percent duty cycle that means you have the pure dc earth output okay and at this time you have the variable for variable due okay you can see here for like 100 millisecond you have the variable duty which keeps on increasing with respect to time you can see here and after 100 millisecond let's say start from 0 percent then it rose to 100 percent 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 20 okay 80 90 and finally 100 percent this is 100 percent that means you have the pure dc here you don't have anything you can see here guys this probably could be 90 percent then this probably could be 100 percent that is how you can sweep you can see with your pwm signal in lt spice and that is how you can generate 0 to 100 percent duty cycle in lt spice if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment